Deftones. We have new Deftones with their track Genesis. Now, I am actually going to be reacting to the music video itself, but depending on how much copyright hates me today, you guys might just see an image of, I don't know, a pony or something on screen, but I will be reacting to the music video. Anyways, I'm just excited for new Deftones. Last track was cool. I'm hoping for maybe something a little, a little chunkier, a little heavier, but... um. We'll see what we get. And right after this video is uploaded today on YouTube, I will be streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Nick Nocturnal. Link in the description below. Come hang out. We do the fun, the fun on there. Let's let's go. I've wasted enough of your time. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting synthy. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that dark little twist. Very fun looking video so far. Okay. Oh, the feedback. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. There we go. Those vocal layers, what, dude? Such a simple riff, but it's very, very chunky. Zero 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 one zero zero zero. I see you, guitarist. Huh? Co chorus? I think. Damn. My dude is pissed in this track. I fucks with it. This video is trippy, dude. Back to the chorus thing? Okay. Groups, by the way, from the drummer, on point. Okay. Ooh, getting feely. Oh. That is, oh, it's so Deftones. Yes, dude. I love that. Oh, yeah. Wanka on that note, fam. With some of that oh, wah, pedal, crying it out, you know? It's a very fun bridge, I'm assuming. Oh, I thought I was going in it. I was ready. You're tricking me like this. We're building. Okay. How are we going to explode? Is it, it going to be the chorus? Chorus smash? 
Okay. It's full fledged bridge, I guess. The melody choices with both the guitars, but especially the vocals, man. So in interesting. It's very unique. Oh, back to the one zero 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 zero. One zero zero zero. One zero zero zero. You write that binary, bro. Programming all the computers for the 2020s. There we go. Okay. Okay. Deftones, Genesis. Let's get into it. Off the bat, I, I did enjoy that more than Holmes. I will say that. Okay. But let's get into it. So, guitar work. <laughs> a little bit more reminiscent of like a lot of the Deftones that at least I grew up kind of listening to here and there. Um, you know, it, it just had a bit more of that ethereal vibe, especially with that bridge. That bridge was like as Deftones to me as it kind of gets, like just the vibes were all there, the ethereal vocals, the ethereal guitars, the groove and all that. But yeah, the guitar work was a little bit more Deftones-y to me than I think Ohms, and I really liked hearing that. Um, it had a, the chunky riffs during the verses. I wish, not that the riff was more technical <laughs> per se, other than one zero zero zero, like, I, I don't even need my guitar in front of me to know that that was a one zero 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 kind of going on there. Um, but just a little more spice to it, I think, would have been nice. Like, even just like, I don't know, a few more notes, something that is a little bit more groove-inducing for the verse would have been kind of cool. You know, that that's really it, just a bit more than that. But I did enjoy that. It was very kind of chill and all that. Um, but the really shining point for the guitars was definitely the bridge, the chorus with like those octave chords and, and all that going on. And just, again, that very ethereal vibe. And even the intro, of course, with that like the nice chord choice they were going with, with that very heavy, ambient, clean tone going on. I enjoyed that. Really great job on the guitar work. Drum work, great job. Very, very groove. Very groove. Nicely complimenting the guitars, uh, but also leaving a lot of space for the vocals and all that. So great job on that. Vocals. Yes. Thank you. Love that. That was a great. The, the, the aggression from the screams. Nice. I loved hearing that. I loved how he kind of went in and out at points that you might not ex always expect the vocalist to do when it comes to like screaming and clean singing. He kind of went out, went in and out of between those two at weird moments, but really th those moments accented the song really well. Um, and he did a great job with that. Like it really felt very emotional. Like I could feel whatever he was kind of feeling during that moment. And he really conveyed that through that vocal performance. Really enjoyed that. Um, the, the screams were cool, but my favorite part were those cleans on that bridge. I was like, yes, dude, that, it, it's just it, it has that heavenly essence that ethereal vibe that's just very them and very iconic and to chino and, and his kind of voice going on but my god it just it gave you gave you that little bit of goosebumps and you're like mm, that felt nice the chorus i didn't not like it it was cool the, the chorus was cool like i've heard better choruses from them that's it it, there was nothing wrong with it. It was very unique, very cool. Just, I've heard better choruses from them. More catchier hooks with some of those melodies from him. Things like that. But there was nothing wrong, again, with the chorus and the melodies he was going with, pretty much. Right. So overall, audio. Cool song. I'll say off the bat, intro was a bit too long. Again, I'm watching the music video here. I don't know if, like, on Spotify they have that intro going. Because then they even do, like, the counting um, right before they get into it. So, yeah, the intro was just a little too long. Like, like I would have halved it. That's pretty much it. And then when they go into it, structurally, it's nice to introduce you with that aggression. And then they go into the chorus. 
And then they go back to that same verse. And they go into the chorus. And then they go into the bridge. Which, again, my favorite part of this song is the bridge. I wish the explosion was a bit more explosive. <laughs> like when they were building for the bridge because they were building for so long. But other than that, it was satisfying. It was a satisfying bridge. And then they ended back with that, you know, groove verse, as you could call it. Yeah, so structurally, very sound song. Intro was just too long, in my opinion. That's really it. So, 3.75 for an X out of 5. I think it's it's a great track going in the right direction. Definitely exciting me for the album. I definitely like this track more than Ohms. Let me put it that way. Ohms was cool, um, but this one just felt a little more deftones -y to me. At least the stuff I grew up, you know, here and there listening to off tr like the singles usually from Deftones and some of the full albums here and there but yeah that's the stuff that sounded a little bit more Deftones to me so great job overall I have no complaints I'm excited for the album if you guys like this song be sure to go show them the love link is going to be in the description below to the original video leave a comment leave a leave a like go buy their merch whatever they're selling you know the deal and if you like this video be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and comment your thoughts on this song as well as ohms I'd like to hear you guys thoughts on it compare them you know let me know your thoughts all right. And again, right after this video is uploaded today, we'll be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nick Nocturnal. Link in description below. Come hang out. We do some fun on there. It's fun. Come check out. You won't know until you check out. And uh, I want to give a special thanks to a few of my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. If you yourself are interested in becoming a Patreon, to get access to a bunch of cool perks, including Tap Sharks, and much more, it's going to be a link on the screen. Description down below. I just hit my desk. If you want to watch more videos from me, be sure to click right over here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.